What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina and today we're going to talk about why it's so important that you always secure your gear if you're not going to be in direct contact with it. Now there's many different scenarios out there where you may need to set up your gear and actually walk away, but it's very important that you actually secure it. Now one of the things that I do on a boat is I always secure my tanks in tank racks and I'll even put a bungee system around it to secure my equipment. In the back of my pickup truck I've got tank racks I can actually lay the tanks in and if I'm going to happen to leave something on the back side of my tailgate I'll actually put my equipment together and lay it down and with the BC attached to the tank it prevents that tank from rolling around and it definitely prevents it from falling off. So when a cylinder or a scuba system falls to the ground there's several different bad things that can happen. First of all you can damage the equipment. Number two you can damage the environment. Number three you yourself can become injured or another diver or just a civilian out there can be injured as well from that tank hitting the ground. Well today what we're going to talk about is some of the things that can go wrong when that cylinder falls to the ground and it has a regulator attached. First and foremost you can actually damage the yoke or even the DIN adapter if you will or the device that connects the first stage to the tank. So if this falls off we can actually warp this piece as well. We can either do that, we can damage the valve, we could sever the valve, and of course the tank itself could rupture. All those are going to be uh, very, very dangerous for anybody standing near. But furthermore, we can actually damage internal parts of the regulator as well. On this yoke style regulator here, if I open it up, this opening here is what we call the orifice. That's basically where the air comes out of the tank and goes into the first stage and right inside the orifice you'll see there's a little clamp mechanism there and then there's what's called a filter and that filter is kind of our uh, last bit of defense from any impurities or anything that might be bad in the air. Um, it, it prevents any dust and debris getting inside the first stage if you don't put your dust cap back in. So that filter is actually very very important to us and so when a tank falls over with a regulator attached, if it hits hard enough, what can happen is, is that that orifice area here can actually become warped. Now, this is coming off a regulator that we just serviced for a customer. Um, and we noticed that when we went to go get that filter out, this is what the filter looks like. And when we went to go get the filter out, we couldn't take it out. And it was basically jammed up in there and we couldn't really figure out why. We were poking from the backside and we still couldn't get it out. And in short, we just had to take some nippers and just sit there and cut it until we could finally get it to break apart and pop out. But after we rebuilt the rig for the customer, we went to go put a new filter in. And as we stuck the filter in, you will notice, hopefully it'll focus for you, that filter here does not fit flush down in there. And we still couldn't figure out why that was that way. I mean, this is from the factory, and this is also from the same factory, same manufacturer. Why couldn't that filter fit? Well, upon closer um, inspection of it, if you look very, very close, and hopefully the camera will focus for you, you will see on this side here, there's a little ind indention there, and it looks like the top of it is kind of beveled off. And hopefully it'll focus for you here. There it kind of goes. And basically what happened was, is this customer didn't bother telling us about this, but the tank had failed with the regulator attached. And when it hit, there was enough force. And guys, this, this is just soft metal is all this is. There was enough force that it actually in, kind of pushed in the metal there on the side and it indented that down to where now, instead of a circle, it's more of an oval. And of course this is circle and a circle don't always fit within an oval so when I set the filter down in there you'll see that it protrudes up to the top and I can't if I wedge that down in there I won't be able to get it back out I'll have to cut it back out just like I did the other one so just a simple little fall it doesn't matter if it's on concrete asphalt gravel or even grass or even dirt for that matter a simple little fall can damage your first stage of your regulator. It can actually damage more than that. It can damage your second stage or your gauges. If that tank has enough force and it lands on something, it's going to damage it. Say if you're at a pool deck and there's tile everywhere, you can damage the tile as well. Maybe it lands on your foot. You can injure yourself. You can break bones with it. Worst case scenario is that tank becomes ruptured or you sever that tank valve and of course the tank's not going to stop until it's out of air and it's going to damage anything within its path. So guys, I hope you can see why it's so very important important that you always secure your tanks. 
at the least, lay them down with a BC attach, secure weights up to them so where they're not going to roll around. If you're on a boat, use some type of tank rack system, put a bungee or a rope or a corded system around it so they don't go nowhere. And of course, in your vehicle, you can always put weights to keep them from rolling around or you can use a tank rack system like I do, and it'll definitely make your gear last a whole lot longer. It'll make you a safer diver, and of course, it will keep people here around us a lot safer as well. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. If you got any suggestions for a future video, please let us know down below what you would like to see, and we'll do our best to make a video specifically for you. Because I really appreciate you watching these videos. If you like them, smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.